So let's take a side Ricky Landale to explain to the people out there what the what the phrase which you coined ice is. <laughs> To oh. ice. What does it mean to ice someone? That means to knock his ass out. <laughs> knock him out. When we were working, uh, there's, remember that company, L.A.W.? Law. Live Law. Action Wrestling. Who, I mean, how the fuck did these guys not make anything a, a real how big How they run? failed, I have no idea. Holy shit. They had the big, the we greatest We watched them last night. They had the greatest uh, And was yeah, it not like watching WCW Saturday? Yeah, it was. It, it, they, had a, they would get four, five, six hundred people. They had the talent? Every show. They had... They had some talented people. I'm not going to say who it was. I mean, Julio De Niro. And, uh, yeah, Julio De Niro. Where's he? He's a guy who used to spray Pam all over his he's, body to glisten yeah, it up. Yeah, he's pumping gas. smell like a fucking fried chicken every time you go out there and rub it all over you. Chicken. <laughs> so, I put say he's pumping gas in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're... <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, listen, so this LAW was, was running, and I worked a couple times, and I was just so impressed with the production value. Fucking great intros. They had a television deal through the Carolinas, right? Yeah, absolutely. They had these great intros, big set, four or five, six hundred people that were loud and electric. People were going crazy. <laughs> it just makes me buff the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, buff, buff is, is the, the stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buff. Buffy used to walk around that locker room with his yeah, damn, yeah. With his damn uh, <laughs> underwear all the way down to his legs, and he'd start shimmying around like this and go, top hat. he started coming around like this, just the top hat and underwear, and, and just, you know, shit hanging out, and walking around going, hey, nobody gets a leapfrog, that's my move, that's my move, as he shimmies around because he can't like, walk. So it'd be like, you know, Buff's walking around, and, and some Mark comes up, and you play the role of the Mark, and Buff's walking around, and the Mark says, hey, Buff Bagwell. So hey, you gotta say, hey kid. Uh, come on, hey let's kid. Try it again. Hey, hey, Buff Bagwell. Hey kid. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then he keeps walking and away. Then, oh, no, and then as he starts walking away, you hear, Buff is the stuff. Yeah. Buff is. The you stuff. know he's thinking. <laughs> yeah. You know Buff's thinking that. He's right. Yeah. I because have the you can stuff. You can see his demeanor change as he's walking away. He's like, hell. And then the kid says, Buff is the stuff. Yeah. Get your grown, grown ass, gassed up dude with a with a I muscle, good muscle right shirt. I look good right now. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me too, me too, brother. Me too. Buff is the stuff. Buff, so anyway, the fanny get... pack, the zoo bass pants. Let's get back into the the, the uh, coining the phrase to be iced. It's like a mafia. Term. So we do these shows for LAW, and CW was one of their top guys. I mean, they were there as he is in any company. He yeah, as he should be. As Absolutely. he should be. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know what? Uh, just to get off sidetrack again, when ECW came back, the horrible, watered down, ridiculously <coughs> um, uh, oh, disrespectful with Vince, with version of Vince McMahon. Yeah, he was the best there. The only good thing that ever came out of that product was the live match with East, with uh, with C.W. Anderson. Uh, and you know what? I can't remember who he worked because the guy didn't make that good of an impression on me. But man, C.W. killed it. Yeah, no, he's, he's listen, he, as he always does. He's great, and he was great. And, and then this just to just to segue right back into the LAW, like how we do this is like a, that's it. That's how it works. You're like a, what is it, Katie Kirk and Matt Lauer type type deal? Yeah, but you gotta be Matt Lauer because I've got a full head of hair and you don't. That's fine. I'll be the man. You be the woman. So segue back into LAW. Oh, excuse me, man. This is making me burp. I need a bathroom. Go ahead. We go, uh, we go to do these shows for LAW, and I said this beautiful setup and everything like that. CW's working, who is it, Caprice? Caprice, Caprice Coleman. Caprice Coleman. You know him better now as um, Cedric Alexander's tag team partner in Ring of Honor, who goes by the name of... Showstopper, crowd popping, body rocking, pulse pounding, you'll see the ring. Caprice Coleman. Wait a second, I'm sorry, he works for Ring of Honor? Yes. You gotta be fucking shitting me. No, sir. Oh man! Well, I'm glad I haven't watched the product in that long of time. Wow! Because that's some, that's got to be oh, unbelievable. Here. Not in the booking firm. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's you. I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just keep killing your career. That's all. Yeah. So we we go to, we we go to do these LAW shows. He's he's working Caprice Ice Coleman as Ice he was known. Caprice Ice Man. Yeah, Coleman. yeah. So he goes. Uh, he goes, uh, hey, listen, man, you know, CW's working in Japan at the time, so the, the, the big time thing in Japan at the, at the time, and probably still now, is just throwing elbows, like good, strong, hard elbows, and just, really, just knocking the shit out of your opponent. He goes to him, he goes, listen, you know how to throw elbows? 
He's like, yeah, yeah, see that? No problem. I know how to throw elbows. And he's like, are you sure you know how to throw elbows? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. He's like, all right, we're going to trade. You know, we'll do some, some, some elbow trades. And Ricky knows because he's listening there. He's right there. Yeah, I'm standing there watching yeah, this go down. right there. And then <laughs> we go, he goes out there. Here comes, here comes a spot where they're going to throw elbows. See that we throw something. Boom. Nice clean elbow. Here comes Caprice going. Boom. Right in CW's cheek. Boom. Right in CW's cheek. <laughs> Across the temple. And I see CW do the old, what the hell, kid? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. And he throws one. And then here comes Caprice. And he hits him right in the fucking temple here. And, and CW's doing, Jesus. This fucking kid. He goes, all right, I'm going to throw one more. He throws it. Caprice hits him right in the jaw. CW winds up and fucking slams this kid right in the right in the right spot, I guess. Right in the right in the right spot, I guess. Cause it yeah. Yeah, see see except the way I remember it happening, head hit he gets back. hit and he falls like this. No, it was his head first, but I, I didn't want to. I never seen camera. someone's head go straight down on the damn ground. Like he was on his feet. Yeah. The priest was on his feet. And he folded and he landed head first. <laughs> Boom! He <laughs> falls head. He falls head first. It's, and I think it's he like the, his, it's like the old Rick. It's like the old Rick Flair one where he's like, come eh, on. I, hey, except Caprice like, had no choice because he was knocked yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, out. Yeah. He was knocked out. So, uh, so, so, to add insult to injury, this kid's fucking knocked out here. See, now he picks him up. And, he's like, and, and, and mind you, see, he does this on purpose. He yeah. has. Oh, he's hot. He's hot because he got hit in the temple. So now he's just going to fuck with him. See, you know. And, and I he, says, like, he says, are you good, kid? Yeah, yeah, I'm He's good. fucking, you know, wait the fuck. He's like, ah, oh, fuck it. CW was a, was a baseball player who was drafted. I can't remember who drafted him. Oh, he was a, CW was a great catcher. He goes, he goes to Caprice. He grabs him. He goes to throw this kid off the rope. And Caprice called. He's coming. Does a head first slide into a horn. With his cheek. His cheek damn sliding across the canvas. He got he had fucking mat burn on his face. He was knocked the fuck out the whole time. CW just... I don't remember how it ends. I know CW just beat his ass and put him down, and that was the end. But uh, yeah, so don't fuck with CW Anderson. <laughs> and, and and if you haven't heard my story with CW, I'll, I'll tell it to you real quickly. But anyway, at the end of that, <laughs> Ricky ended up coining this term, the ice. This, this yeah. is the ice somebody. Yeah, when, just, when Ice Coleman got knocked the fuck out, he got iced. <laughs> what and, a Caprice, kid. and Caprice, you know I love you, man. You mean you're cool. We've always been. Oh, cool. you me too, man. We're cool. Yeah, we've, cool even, shit. We've, <laughs> we've even been cool after that situation. But looking oh, back, yeah, brother, it, it give was, me a call. It was so give me a call. funny, and it's still funny. We'll do lunch one day. And me, actually, right? see them text me like a week ago and wanted to know if I had it on tape. So I'm trying to find. You know what? Because I was I was talking to him, and he goes, "Man, I think Kirby got that on tape." I'm trying to find it, and if I find it, it will go up on. And YouTube. if anybody else if finds it, it, it please it send it to one of us. Go up on YouTube. So when you're watching it, like any any other guy that watches it that doesn't know is gonna think, "Wow, man, he's really silly." You know, he was knocked out. He was <laughs> so knocked out. My here in live action wrestling, being able to accomplish that. Oh, vicious forearm by Caprice Coleman and CW exchanging one. They just keep going back and forth. Wow, and another one. Oh, wow. What a vicious exchange of forearms back and forth, and that one looks like it might have been lights out. Caprice Coleman looks lifeless. Looks like the sense has just been knocked out of him, and he looks like Jello. I don't even know if he has his legs. That might be lights out. CW attempted to shoot him in the road. I think he is out. Come on. CW egging on Caprice Coleman. Most men would already have covered the man, but he's just playing with him now. That's the kind of man that CW is. Oh, and now he delivers that vicious spine buster with his panting moves. Three, and that's it. Well, as predicted by CW, he put away Caprice Coleman with 
Not too much difficulty, but Caprice put on a good show. You see both anglers changing forms, but I think that elbow forearm combination is what put, C put Caprice Coleman out. Then you see CW delivered that vicious spine buster for the one, two, three. That was it. Wow, what a great match. Caprice Coleman put on a great match, but not enough to hang with the Anderson. Well, CW continues to be one of Live Action Wrestling's toughest opponents. And it looks like Caprice, looks like Caprice is hurt. All the referees are out there. Well, fans, next week we got a great show. Fans, Live Action Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Porter Patrol. Oh! Wow! But, uh, yes, I don't fuck with CW Anderson.